Hey guys, how's it going? My name is Orpheus, or Shane, whichever you prefer, and today I'm going to show you my storm color build. Back in Season of the Drifter, Bungie decided to amp up several arc subclasses, giving a lot of love to several skill trees and abilities. The most notable of these changes was to Arcweb, a perk under the top tree storm color. This change turned Arcweb into one of the most infamous abilities in the entire game, and I'm going to show you how I gear my Warlock to capitalize on that. With this build, you'll be using Attunement of Conduction with the exotic Crown of Tempests. The major advantages to using this setup are the perks Arcweb and Ionic Blink. Arcweb causes your grenades to chain lightning and restores 10% of your grenade energy per enemy hit by chaining arc damage. Your arc chains can also hit the same target multiple times. This perk allows you to destroy entire teams with one grenade and truly shines in control where enemies are all sitting close together on a control point. Next is Ionic Blink. Ionic Blink allows you to utilize the Blink Jump in addition to your Glide while in Storm Trance. Ionic Blink takes a pretty thick chunk of super energy to use, so I can't recommend using it for rotating around the map, but it does allow you to break the ankles of your opponents. This ability makes it harder for enemies to headshot you or team shot you out of your super and also makes it difficult for enemy supers to land hits on you. Moving on to our exotic, the Crown of Tempests. The exotic perk Conduction Tines reduces the cooldown of your arc abilities and extends the duration of your Storm Trance super. Arcweb multi-kills make it very easy to get all three stacks of this perk in PvP. If you opt to not use Crown, the other exotics I would recommend would be Ophidian Aspects for the improved weapon handling, extended melee range, and reload speed, or the Transversive Steps for improved mobility and reloading while sprinting. For my weapons, I almost always use my Chaperone with Waking Vigil. My Waking Vigil has Slide Shot, Opening Shot, Ricochet Rounds, Hit Mark, Icarus Grip, and a Range Masterwork and I have a machine gun. I feel comfortable using these weapons, and I feel that they cover a wide variety of ranges and situations that allow me to slay out and help my team at the same time. I wanted to make a special note about Chaperone. I've used this weapon extensively over the past few months, and it's starting to feel like an extension of my hand, and I've noticed that it does things that other shotguns just can't. The range allows you to kill other shotgunners before they can get in range, and the Roadborne perk allows you to snipe people at some astonishing distances. Roadborne also allows you to headshot and melee supers, providing an effective way to counter them in close quarters. Moving on to the armor setup, the main thing that you will notice is I have 100 recovery, 100 intellect, and very low discipline. The big difference between my setup and other variations of this build is I don't feel the need to have extra discipline due to the synergy between Arcweb and Crown of Tempests. If I do feel the need to have ability cooldown reduction, I'll swap to a Jack Queen King 3 with Demolitionist to start getting grenade energy per primary kill. For my armor mods, I run two precision targeting mods on my helmet for my chaperone and my hand cannon. My gloves have an intellect mod, an enhanced hand cannon loader. My chest piece has a recovery mod, an unflinching shotgun aim, but ideally this would have more resilience. My boots have an intellect mod and a special ammo scavenger, so that I don't need to swap my armor around whenever I change loadouts. And last, but certainly not least, we have my bond, with an intellect mod and enhanced ashes to assets. I'm going to play a clip that shows exactly why I run this particular set of mods on my class item. And there you have it. Thank you everyone so much for watching. This was my first non-montage video I've ever put together on my channel. Please leave any feedback in the comment section. I'm always looking to improve my content. Please like the video and subscribe, and let me know if you're going to try out this build in PvP. Be sure to join my Discord and follow my Twitch channel. Take it easy, y'all. See you in the next one.